also the stepping down board member and vice president of the MPE. It is a great pleasure for me to welcome a Hungarian hematologist again, as this is the second time in the history of MPE's master classes, which I'm very proud of. As a member of uh, AGM program committee, I had the possibility to recommend a lecturer, and I recommended Dr. Otto Chachowski immediately. <laughs> Dr. Chachowski is the hematologist of the St. Laszlo Hospital in Budapest, which is the most excellent hematology and transplant center in Hungary. He is the representative of a new generation who understands exactly why patient education is so important. He held lectures to patients several times with great success, and now he will be talking about a difficult topic, about the myeloma-related diseases. After the lecture, you can ask questions, so please welcome Dr. Otto Chachowski from Hungary. Otto, the floor is yours. Hi, uh, very thank you, uh, the invitation uh, in this Congress. I have a very, very hard uh, topic, the myeloma associated disease. So it's very strange and very rare in a hematology. Uh, Many times we have a very big problem how to diagnose this uh, disease and how to, how to realize that the symptoms cause the, uh, this rare disease. First time I would like to show my clinic. I'm working in a southwest, uh, south uh, best uh, uh, central hospital. This is the institute of, uh, uh, the National Institute of Hematology and Infectology. It's a very old, and traditional hospital uh, it was built uh, in uh, 1896, uh, uh, but the hematology department and the transplantation is a new new one building. I would like to share some information about our clinical practice. We have a single myeloma department with 20 beds. The all clinics are have 120 beds. Uh, 10 autologous stem cell transplantation box, approximately 140 autologous transplantation per year, uh, 80 myeloma transplantation per year, so it's a, we are the biggest centrum in uh, Hungary. Uh, approximately, we take care of myeloma patient uh, 250, and approximately we have uh, uh, 70 newly diagnosed myeloma patient a year. So my topic uh, is very, very hard for me because, you know, all, all general, the doctors who work in the general practice uh, can't uh, realize the, the symptoms, uh, the in connection, the symptoms and, 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 the, and the diagnose. Uh, I would like to share the most uh, favorable uh, myeloma society disease like uh, MGAS, the solitary plasma cytoma, the valential macroglobulinemia, the plasma cell leukemias, the amyloidosis, and my favorite, the other rare disease. This is the WEGO classification of the plasma cell dish crazer. Have a lot of uh, uh, diagnosis and lo lots of uh, uh, things. And I, I would like to share one slide from the, the other clinical uh, complication which associated with myeloma, but not a single uh, uh, diagnose. The pathological vertebral compression, the high level calcium, acute renal failure, several anemia and bone pain, but it's not a topic uh, in my presentation. Uh, I uh, plan my uh, presentation that every uh, di before every diagnose, I would like to uh, share a patient, our clinic, uh, one cases, and after it we discuss that uh, what, what is what is the the most uh, 
important information about the disease, what's the prognosis, what the incidence, what the pathological uh, uh, things, and, and uh, what the symptoms. So the first one, 62 years old woman. She was asymptomatic. She, she went to the, the house doctor, uh, to the average blood test, uh, which was normal, but the ESR, the um, uh, erythrocyte sediment, uh, sedimentary rate, more than 100. The immunological and rheumatic examination uh, was negative. So she, she didn't suffer any problems, ha haven't got any symptoms, only the, the, the high ESR rate. What's the next examination step? It's every thinking and in mind in Hungary that the hematology solves everything. So when stop some doctors uh, uh, minding, uh, take the patient to our clinic. We made a bone marrow aspiration which shown less than 5% uh, plasma cells. The, we, we made the total body x-ray which was negative and the immune chemistry shown a monoclonal gammopathy, IgG kappa. Diagnosis was MGAS, the monoclonal gammopathy undetermined significance. What can the doctor do in this uh, situation? Nothing special. We, every two months, have to check the symptoms and the immune profile, the EGG, EGA, EGM, and the monoclonal antibodies. And if the doctor notice some new symptoms or progress in an in a immune profile or, 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 or uh, appear enemy or, or any other uh, symptoms of uh, myeloma, uh, we decided how to we treat this one. So this is the situation when we have to start the anti-myeloma therapy. That, what is the MGAS? MGAS is not uh, exactly the malignant disease. This is a pre-malignant condition. Uh, the incidence, three between four uh, per 100 person a year. The prevalence, you, uh, you can uh, check that uh, increased uh, by the, the year and uh, increased uh, for example, the, in uh, less than uh, 50 age, uh, less than uh, uh, 3%, but in uh, 85 age, it's, it's more than uh, 6%. Uh, the median age is, is 72 years. Uh, the patemaharis is very complicated. Uh, uh, the mechanism is antigen stimulation. It's, it's very same in uh, uh, myeloma. So the autoimmune disease, the, the chronic inflammatory, and, uh, and, uh, and the other chronic uh, inflammation the, made the plasma cell uh, uh, tunings, and it appear like a high uh, uh, gammopathy. But 19% uh, have a genetic in instability. This uh, uh, picture, but it's... Uh, IgM, so it's a, a Wadenschung, but you can see that the normal B cell uh, 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 maturing in a, in a lymph node and went to the, uh, after it went to the, the blood, but the MGAS uh, with the stimulation uh, uh, and the EGM MGAS and the Wadenschung macroglobinemia is a problem in a much ma maturing period of the plasma cells. Uh, the progression rate to other lymphoproliferative disease is this phase, if the phase is uh, very same. So, so when we diagnose the MGAS, we can decide uh, in the future that how to progress to Waldenschirm or plus, so any other plasma, uh, plasma cell disease can uh, uh, progress the, the MGAS. What is the symptoms? Uh, average asymptomatic, no abnormal physical finding. How to diagnose the same in myeloma, so the, the blood sample, the, the immune chemistry, and the bone marrow aspiration show that how many plasma cells are in the bone marrow. Uh, in a WEGO uh, uh, classification shows that less than 5% plasma cells have to uh, 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 in the bone marrow. Urine electrophoresis uh, and the protein urea, the protein in the urine we can measure, and the total body radiotherapy, uh, radiology, the X-ray, uh, the other things. So how we treat? 
no treatment. Clinical and laboratory re-evaluation every, every six months. In our, our hospital and in our uh, country is, is not six months, it's, it's three months when we uh, 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 check the patient's uh, um, chemistry, blood chemistry. The second one uh, case, 46 years old businessman. Every second day after the work, went to the gym. So he was very, very good condition. But one day after approximately 60 uh, kilogram weight lifting, felt destructive pain in his back. He went to the emergency room uh, uh, in, in a hospital uh, and made the, the CT from the, uh, the lumbar uh, uh, area, which saw the solid tissue which compressed the spine and, and, uh, and uh, uh, made uh, the pathological uh, compression in a vertebra. What did the doctor do? The first one, the, the pathological examination, the, the histological sampling. And uh, the immunoglobulin level uh, measuring, which was normal, and immune fixation was negative, so it's not a myeloma. The bone marrow was normal too. Uh, the uh, histological examination showed this is a solitary extramedular plasmacytoma. Uh, uh, in the MR uh, uh, picture, you can see in this area the, the plasmacytoma which compressed the vertebra. And uh, uh, it's, it's very important things, but we discussed the, the other side, that the solitary plasma cytoma is a solitary, not a systemic. So we can find only one region in a, in a body, and, and if, if, we, if we find any uh, uh, things in a blood, for example, the, the high level immunoglobulin and so on, it's not a solitary plasma cytoma, it, it was the, the myeloma with a plasma cytoma. So how we treat? Uh, uh, Anti-compression uh, therapy, uh, we uh, made a dexamethasone, uh, and after local radiotherapy, it's enough uh, any time. So the solitary plasma cytoma have two types, the bone associated and the extramedular. The last uh, uh, slide showed the, the, the bone uh, type, the bone associated type, which can uh, 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 move from the vertebra. But in this picture, it's a, it's a sinusoidal radio in, in, in a head. This is an uh, extramedular, not a bone type. Solitary area of lytic bone destruction due to plasma cells in the otherwise asymptomatic patient. Generally, no serum and, uh, and uh, urine uh, paraproteins, so it's not a systemic, uh, I repeat uh, again. Uh, no myeloma-related organ tissue uh, impartment, so no, uh, not renal failure, uh, not uh, hypercalcemia, no anemia, on only the, the abnormal tissue in the other region uh, in the body. Uh, what the symptoms, the compression symptoms, it, it uh, the patient feel very big pain, for example, when uh, grow up uh, the, the tumor in the vertebral region or, or near the, the, uh, the neurological uh, sites, and the neurological too, so it's, it's very, uh, we, 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 if you found uh, the plasma cytoma uh, somewhere in the body, we have to treat it urgently uh, for the neurological uh, symptoms. So how we treat the fractionized uh, radiotherapy, uh, it's enough. 75% uh, progress to myeloma conventional chemotherapy, so it's, it's, a, uh, it's a big problem. Uh, and uh, I, I uh, shared two uh, subtypes, the medullar and extramedular. The, the survival, it's very, very good. The median survival, for example, the medullar type, uh, more than 10 years with the, radio the local radiotherapy and, uh, and uh, uh, a salvage dexamethasone. The estromedular type, it's very, very rare, but the, but the survival is, is better. Uh, more, uh, the 70% uh, uh, 10 between uh, 14 years. And it's very special because it occurs uh, uh, in the head and the neck region, upper uh, airways and the tonsil and, uh, and in a sinusoidal region. The other, other uh, uh, disease uh, and the other cases, uh, it's, uh, which one, yes, uh, 
52 uh, years old woman. She, uh, uh, the symptoms start two months ago, typical back pain, fatigue, anemia, exchange of the bone lesion in a, in a skull, the cost and pelvic region. So it's, uh, it's a general uh, doctor's uh, first thinks that it's a myeloma. Immune uh, chemistry confirmed the monoclonal gammopathy. So it's, it's a very, very simple diagnosis in, in uh, myeloma. But we check the blood count. And the blood count show that the, the, the total uh, white uh, blood cells uh, more than uh, uh, 55. Uh, uh. <coughs> so what, what, what is the di diagnosis? So it's not a simple, like a leukemia uh, uh, blood count. Uh, the special examination, we made a special examination, the flow cytometry, and this is uh, uh, shown the circulating plasma cell in her blood. It's a very, very big pro problem because the diagnosis was Primer plasma cell leukemia. The primer plasma cell leukemia is very, very rare. In my practice, uh, the last six years, I, I found two cases, I think, the primer one. Uh, uh, and it's a very, very uh, bad uh, prognosis. Have two types, the primer and the secondary. The primer is a, is a first diagnosed when we, we uh, de detect the, the plasma cell in the blood. The second there, uh, the second one, uh, is a myeloma, which progress, uh, myeloma which progressed to the plasma cell leukemia. Uh, we, we, we found it uh, the, uh, the the autologous transplant after the autologous transplant uh, relapsed uh, myelomas. So it's absolutely the end stage myelomas can progress to the, to the uh, plasma cell leukemia is a very, very, very bad uh, progression. Uh, High-grade malignancy can measure the plasma cell in the herb blood. This is the, 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 the typical uh, uh, plasma cell in the, near the red blood cells. And the genetic uh, examination is important because uh, this myeloma type and this uh, plasma cell leukemia have a high-grade uh, genetics uh, disorders. What is the therapy? It's a very aggressive chemotherapy. Urgently, we have to uh, uh, start the, the chemotherapy uh, with anthracycline, uh, Valkyrie, dexamethasone, cyclophosphamide, and so on. Uh, and the end point of the therapy, the autologous bone marrow transplantation in the first remission, if uh, we uh, uh, can uh, uh, make the, the patient to the remission. Other cases. 67 years old men, no comorbidity. The ESR uh, uh, 100, uh, the symptoms is fatigue anemia. In the last three months, 20 kilogram weight loss and lymphadenomegaly. The neurological analysis uh, uh, shown the polyneuropathy on the low uh, extremity. So it's the diagnosis may be uh, uh, myeloma, but the lymphadenomegaly is rare in this uh, uh, situation. The blood has shown the very low uh, hemoglobin and the very high plasma protein, and uh, the immune chemistry show the EGM, which was very, very high, and the EGM kappa is very high too. The beta, uh, beta 2 uh, microglobin is high, high too. So we made the bone marrow biopsy, which uh, shown the plasma cells uh, uh, like uh, the, the, the plasma cells like cells, the lymphoplasmatic uh, cells, which is uh, uh, confirmed, diagnosed the Waldenstrom macroglobulinemia. What uh, can the doctor do in this situation? The first one is a plasma therapies. You know the. The very, very high complication in a Waldenstrom macroglobulinemia that the, 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 the plasma cells product the very high IG, I, IgM. The IgM causes the hyperviscosity and the, the other, any other symptoms, the dyspnea and so on. So the first time when we start the chemotherapy, we have to make the plasma pheresis. 
Uh, and the combination therapy, you know the the, the Waldenschirm is very, very different from the myeloma. The myeloma cells, the plasma cells, which can appear in a, in a bone marrow, it's, it's, a met, it's, a, it's stopped in a maturing product procedure uh, after, the, uh, af after, after the, the B cell. Uh, the plasma cell is the last uh, step uh, uh, before uh, the maturing uh, plasma cells. So after four cycle therapy, the control bone marrow biopsy confirmed the complete remission. The next step was the stem cell collection and the successful autologous bone marrow transplantation. It's a very rare disease. The incidence is less than one per 100 person. The median age is 63 between 68 age. The, the generally cause we, uh, we are known uh, the main risk factor for uh, VM, uh, the pre-exist EGM MGAS. So when we detect the EGM MGAS uh, some patient, we have to uh, plan the mind uh, in our, our, our head that it will be progressed to the uh, IGM MGAS to the, the Waldenschirm macroglobulinemia. Prognosis, the median time to progress to uh, asymptomatic, approximately seven years. We, uh, take care approximately 40 uh, myel uh, Waldenschirm patient in our clinic and uh, 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 approximately 22 who uh, haven't got any uh, symptoms, so uh, asymptomatic. Uh, in this situation, you have to watching so and waiting, not uh, uh, the therapy. Uh, media survival five years. Uh, 10% uh, alive across 10 years. 20% uh, dead unrelated uh, cause and 33% uh, uh, died in uh, any other infection. What is the pathomechanism? The somatic hypermutilation, so the genetics uh, factors and the genetic uh, profile is very important in this uh, disease too. Uh, in the last step to differentiation to maturing plasma cells, very high IgM production, career globulinemia is a side effect and the, the side things which appear in a Wallenstein macroglobulinemia, and hyperviscosity syndrome, uh, the dyspnea, fatigue, dim, uh, and uh, limb uh, discoloration. The symptoms is very average, anemia, recurrent infection because you know the because you know the the, the plasma cells which can uh, product normally the I, uh, the immunoglobulin for the bacterial infection <coughs> it's not normal in this disease so the the infection rate is very high uh, uh, because the the patients suffer from the the immunoparesis uh, bleeding nose uh, dyspnea waiting loose uh, neuropathy uh, syndromes are, are very uh, common in a Waldenschirm macroglobulinemia. The neurological disorders, the, the headache, the dizziness, the visual upset, and impotency. Hemorrhagic disorders, the thrombosis, and bleeding, it's very average uh, too. Autoimmune disorders, the, the urticaria, the fever, and rush. I have two <coughs> pictures, which is very typical. The, the upper one, it's a, like a renal syndrome, like an like, like a autoimmune disease, uh, the discoloration of the, uh, of the hand. The cause, the circulation IgM uh, and the circulation cryoglobulin, which can uh, stop the, the normal blood circulation uh, in the head. So uh, sometimes we uh, found the, the white fingers like uh, gangrena. Uh, then the other one in the uh, in the uh, in the leg is a typical uh, uh, bleeding disorders. How we diagnose? It's it's uh, very same the other plasma cell disease, the the blood sample, the paraproteins levels, the urine examination, uh, immunoglobulin uh, uh, levels, and alpha. So it's it's very same to uh, to the myeloma. The bone marrow uh, biopsy, it's, it's very important because the typical Waldenstrom cells appearing only in, the, in, in, a, in a bone marrow. 
Uh, the plasma cell viscosity is a very, very big problem. The, uh, uh, the first symptoms which appear uh, uh, in, in a patient, the, 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 the plasma cell high viscosity. And the beta-2 microglobulin level, it's very, very important because the WHO prognostic uh, uh, score uh, uh, have the B B beta-2 microglobulin level. Uh, so it, it's uh, changed the classification uh, when the beta-2 is higher or, or, or lower. Treatment, the first one, the plasma pheresis, the, the symptomatic one then shown. Uh, and the rituximab, the anti-CD20 antibodies, because you know it's not a typical uh, plasma cells. This is a plasma cells between the, the maturing and healthy, uh, uh, healthy cells, so it's a lymphoid cells. So uh, product the CD20 antibody uh, in the survey of the, of the cells. We combine the, chemo, the classical chemotherapy, cyclophysomid, fludarabine, bendamustine, and steroid. The, which patient who uh, agility to the transplantation in Hungarian the 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 age stop at uh, uh, 65 years uh, we have to uh, mind uh, to the autologous bone marrow transplantation in a complete remission uh, and we have some new agent for the genetics disorder so uh, uh, in a 21 century, uh, the diagnostic uh, procedure is, is very, very well, and we, in the last five years, find a lot of uh, typical uh, genetics abnormalities, and we have uh, 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 lots of uh, target therapy. For example, the ibrutinib, it's, uh, it's very good for this uh, uh, disease. This is a plasma thoracis product. Uh, uh, in Wadenschirm, uh, you can see in this area, so this is the monoclonal antibody, the IgM. It's very uh, important for the symptoms that the IgM and uh, the high-level IgM, uh, it's, uh, which cause the symptoms, are very changed to the hot and <laughs> cold. So if the, if, if the patient uh, went to the winter, for example, in a cold uh, weather, uh, the, 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 the symptoms are progressed. Case five. Uh, this is a, oh it's 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 very interesting and it's very very uh, uh, good things which uh, was in my clinic the last five years. Forty two years old woman. She was so healthy, but she felt dysnoe when she goes up to the second floor. The last two weeks or three weeks. And it was so progressive. So if you went to the road uh, 10 meter, you have to uh, stand and sit down because can't breathe. Uh, she went to the, the cardiac uh, uh, clinic uh, and made the cardiac examination, which was very, which was uh, 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 appeared a very severe cardiac failure. Echocardiography uh, shown that the heart wall is thickening and the, the right side uh, features. So the, what, what, what is the, what is caused these uh, symptoms? In her medical history, no other comorbidities, no familiar history. Hematologic examination showed the normal blood count, but the kappa light changed more than uh, 8,000. Uh, uh, the next step, the bone marrow aspiration uh, and the bone marrow biopsy, and the histology was the amyloidosis. The heart MR, it's a very good staging uh, procedure uh, uh, before the, uh, we start the chemotherapy in amyloidosis, uh, shown the typical amyloid depositum in the heart uh, and the septum. What can the doctor do in, in this situation? The first one, the chemotherapy. Welke, Talidomine, and dexamethasone combination, it's a very, very good, and, uh, and this is the new combination uh, in the, in the, uh, about the, the national uh, literature. We have four cycle therapy, and the second one, the heart transplantation, which was, which was successful. 
After six months, uh, the, the heart transplantation, the control bone marrow biopsy didn't find any amyloid and plasma cells and so on, and we made a successful autologous stem cell transplantation. And now, uh, she worked in an office. Uh, the myeloma associated amyloidosis is complete remission, so we can't find any uh, uh, um, light change and, and the plasma cells in a bone marrow. And uh, her uh, new heart worked very, very good. So the next topic is amyloidosis. Uh, it's a very rare disease. In my practice, oh, I'm sorry. In my practice, I found approximately 10 uh, uh, patients who suffer from the amyloidosis. The incidence is one per 100 person. The most cases uh, between uh, 50 and 70 years, uh, more than 10 uh, percent. And it's very important that uh, 15 percent myeloma developed amyloidosis. But what the pathomechanism? The amyloidosis have two, two parts. The, the IL amyloidosis is a primer. Uh, it's a genetic disorders which appear in a very early year, uh, in a younger patient. Uh, the plasma cell product, the fibrillar deposit, which uh, involved uh, a lot of organs. But the second one, which uh, is uh, uh, important for us, uh, the myeloma associated uh, uh, amyloidosis, because uh, the myeloma cells, the, the plasma cells, product the, the, the abnormal immunoglobulins. EGA, EGG, G, and EGM, or EGM. But sometimes uh, product, this uh, myeloma plasma cells, the, the fibrillar deposit, the amyloid uh, 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 proteins, which can involve the kidney first, the heart, the liver, and the peripheral nervous system. Uh, without treatment, the amyloid deposit progressively accumulates in a visceral organ, made increasingly uh, several organ dysfunction. What are the symptoms? The renal involvement caused the renal failure. The cardiac symptoms, you remember the cases, uh, 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 made the restrictive cardiomyopathy, the right side features, and, and any other cardiac uh, problems and uh, complication. The neurological, the peripheral neuropathy, uh, more than 20%, the painful sensory disorders, the autonomic neuropathy, uh, uh, so uh, the, the patient suffer from the, the lower blood pressure uh, and impotence. Uh, the gastrointestinal involvement disturbed the, the gastrointestinal motility. And it's very real, but uh, the, the amyloid deposit can uh, appear in a pulmonary involvement and cause the, any other pulmonary disease. Any other complication, the bleeding disorders, it's, it's, it's very uh, common. The vocal cord involvement uh, and the dysphonia, it's very rare. Uh, the endocrine dysfunction, for example, the diabetes mellitus, because the, uh, the same mechanism, because the, the, the um, Amyloid uh, involve the, the, the pancreas or, or the, the thyroid uh, glands and it causes the, the secondary uh, uh, endocrine uh, dysfunction. And the macroglossia, the tongue enlargement, it's, it's uh, very typical. Uh, it's a very, very big problem because, uh, you know, <coughs> the lots of doctor, the, the, the many doctors can't found and can't uh, uh, see uh, the amyloid uh, 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 amyloid, the, the patient who suffer from the amyloidosis. So the first time when we diagnosed and we uh, when, when we uh, found uh, this patient uh, suffer from this uh, several multi-organ dysfunction. How we diagnose? It's very same to myeloma. Uh, the uh, about the symptoms and the histological examination, the blood chemistry, the immunochemistry, the urine examination, the bone marrow biopsy, it's very same, the other plasma cell disease. 
but have a special uh, histological examination, the Congo red painting, in a pathologist made this one in the picture. Uh, so the Congo red uh, paint only the amyloid uh, deposit, and uh, if uh, we checked in a microscope uh, this picture, the diagnose, we standing the diagnose knows that this is uh, amyloidosis. And I spoke about the primary and secondary, uh, and the myeloma associated, it's more than 50% uh, of myeloma. What is the therapy? It's, it's, uh, it's uh, complicated too, because the, the first uh, big problem in this patient, the, the multi-organ failure. So, okay, we know that uh, he's, uh, he or she suffer from the amyloid, but when you appear in our clinic, suffer from the heart uh, uh, dysfunction, the G dysfunction, the neurological dysfunction. So, so it, it's very, very hard. The chemotherapy, uh, the first one, which we, what we can choose, the cyclophosphamide, the dexamethasone, malfolan, thalidomid, valkid, so we can uh, treat like a, a, a myeloma. And, the end point of the therapy, the autologous bone marrow transplantation too, for the eligibility uh, patient. Prognosis, it's very bad uh, if the patient not eligibility to the chemotherapy or ASCT, uh, and the cause of that, the organ involvement and disorder. So not the prima disease, uh, uh, the complication of the disease which caused the death a lot of uh, patients. Uh, finally, I would like to show a very special and rare disease uh, which uh, uh, we take care in our, our uh, uh, hospital. So the case, 61 years old woman. First symptoms, first symptoms, the tumor in a gingiva and acute renal failure. It's very simple for the hematologist and uh, it's a, a myeloma-associated disease. The histology uh, uh, was the plasma cytoma. We made a bone marrow aspiration, which uh, show the typical plasma cells, but some not typical plasma cells uh, appear in a bone marrow. The question was, what kind of cells were there? Uh, we made the immunochemistry, which uh, uh, detect the elevated level of kappa light change of IgG. Immune fixation was positive, so the diagnosis was very simple. It's a multiply myeloma. But after one year, the myeloma they are diagnosed, and after the first, cycle, first uh, uh, chemotherapy uh, uh, period, uh, appear a new symptom, the splenomegaly. Uh, the question was well, which uh, uh, subtype of myeloma caused the splenomegaly because it's very, very rare and we know uh, that the, the, the plasma cells and the uh, abnormal immunoglobulin not involved the, the solitary uh, uh, tissue and the, sp and the spleen too. We revelate the first histological result and uh, uh, we checked that these strange cells, which can appear in a bone marrow, which was not the myeloma cells, was the Gaucher-like cells. Uh, so the diagnosis was the Gaucher disease associated with myeloma. We measured the glucosylbrosidase enzyme level, which was very low. Uh, uh, Indication of enzyme replacement therapy uh, was uh, followed by the rapid uh, response size of the spleen was dramatically reduced. Although the myeloma was non-responding uh, to chemotherapy, and we have to use the other uh, therapy protocol, after the salvage protocol, we collect like, the stem cells and we made uh, the stem cell transplantation uh, uh, in this patient. So the Gaucher disease. Incidence uh, in Ashkenazi and Jews uh, in one uh, per 5,000 uh, person. And the other population is, is uh, less than uh, uh, one uh, in one uh, one uh, thousand, hundred thousand uh, person. What the pattern mechanism? This is a very, very rare genetic disease, disorders, which is a special enzyme defect which breaks down the cell wall in the spleen. Uh, in defected, the incomplete metabolites uh, are uh, accumulated in the organ, the spleen, bone marrow, and bowels. 
So this uh, uh, caused the, the symptoms, the thrombocytopenia, the anemia, the splenomegaly, the bone pain, fatigue, joint pain. It uh, 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 caused the, the, this uh, metabolism uh, uh, accumulation in this organ. Treatment is very simple, enzyme therapy and infusion or tablets. The prognosis is very well, uh, the quality of life improves. Okay, uh, it's interesting, but how is it connected to the myeloma cells? First one, the most common malignant comorbidity in Gaucher disease is a myeloma, more than 2%. Uh, percent. Why? Uh, in uh, 2017, uh, January, the new announcement was published, which uh, studied the mechanism of, of uh, myeloma genesis, and find a new evidence to the, uh, to the theory, the inflammatory modulation of plasma cells. So this uh, incomplete uh, products, this metabolism, uh, involved, uh, involved the, the bone marrow and the spleen, and made the plasma cells uh, and made the immune system uh, to fight uh, 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 in, this, uh, in, in this product. And after it, uh, the, the all-time fighting caused the genetics disorders and caused the plasma cells, uh, uh, plasma cells tumors uh, evaluation. And finally, I would like to show my city, Budapest, the House of Parliament, and the city at night uh, in, uh, near the Danube. And thank you for your attention. I'm very interested. What is your access to new drugs in Hungary? Because I was a little bit afraid when I read that thalidomide is a new agent. <laughs> thalidomide is not a new agent. So <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. No, no. We use the thalidomide the last ten years, uh, but the guidelines see that the new agent we use because after it uh, the, uh, we use only the dexamethasone, the cyclophosphamide, mm -hmm. and the, 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 the old uh, uh, conventional chemotherapy. So. The thalidomide, using the thalidomide in this uh, disease is a new, okay. not the agent. <laughs> exactly. The ibrutinib is a new agent, yes. Okay. And do, do you have access to new drugs for myeloma treatment, like monoclonal antibodies? Yeah, or, we use. Yeah? The, 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 there are chimumab, yes, and uh, isotoximumab, so we, we use everything. Uh, and this is reimbursed by the government? Yes. Yeah. We have a we have a, a big healthy system, so the government pay everything for the for the the healthy, healthy system and for the hospital. So, exactly, the hospitals is, is, are not in a good condition, but uh, the orphan uh, uh, drugs, uh, uh, for example, in a Gaucher disease, it's very very expensive uh, treatment too, and the uh, ibrutinib and uh, daratumumab and so other new agent in myeloma and the other hematological disease. Uh, can pay, so uh, it's, it's uh, everybody surprised, and we surprised when I were in other country and other conference and show that how we treat, for example, the myeloma and how we treat the other lymphomas. I I I I I'm very surprised that it's very same in our country. So it's 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 good. Very good, thank you. But sometimes they have to uh, prepare lots of paper. And yeah, students. yeah, and and exactly the the. Yeah, and it's it's it, it's very. I that uh, I work in a, a national institute, so everything is uh, available for us. But the little centrum uh, is is uh, less uh, available for this uh, uh, agent, and uh, exactly the studies. 
so the the clinical trial, trials which can uh, uh, we we can uh, give this new agent for the patient so it's a very very good things that we have a lots of uh, clinical trials in your introduction you made the distinction between autologous stem cell transplantation yes. and myeloma transplantation and what's the reason of the last one i don't understand why you well, mention it uh, Apart, myeloma stem cell transplantation. Not myeloma, the, the, the autologous stem cell transplantation in myeloma. So, I, I'm sorry. Yet. It's not clear for me why you decide these this two uh, forms of, of, of transplantation. That why? Yes. Yeah. Uh, the, between autolog and myeloma. Uh, Oh, uh, misunderstanding. misunderstanding. Yes, because oh, the, uh, yes. so the autologous we we, we, we yeah so yes. so we every patient made oh, the yes. autologous stem cell transplantation. I'm starting to so <laughs> to in my mind yes. that that the the, the <laughs> patient who who uh, uh, before sixty five years uh, old we made the 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 uh, induction therapy in myeloma and the the, the uh, end point of the therapy the autologous stem cell transplantation in myeloma and this disease all okay, okay. so okay it's okay. clear yes okay. <laughs> thank you uh, my name is roman probably i am the only one who can pronounce your surname correctly <laughs> dr chachowski <laughs> Um, you distinguish several uh, examples. I will be fit in the second position. But uh, as I know, or as I uh, wrote, uh, read, uh, there are the proverb that each myeloma is uh, separate. I mean, you cannot distinguish even uh, main uh, uh, reasons to distinguish uh, several types of myeloma and uh, my is my myeloma is uh, plasmocytoma yeah. and uh, which behave like sing singular, singular yeah. but I have uh, several so, yeah. singu singular uh, places and um, if you would like to explain how you use the knowledge medicine knowledge to uh, help uh, those cases when uh, you have uh, clean uh, clean um, blood, clean bone uh, marrow, but uh, several singular places. <coughs> so, what uh, what uh, scheme do you, do you uh, apply in that moments? Yeah. <laughs> do you do you know what I mean? Yes, you yeah, can find yeah, several uh, patients which you yeah. can distinguish, uh, like cars, CUV, limousine, and so on. But sometimes myeloma is a mixture mixture of mixture, all, yeah. so uh, it's difficult. I haven't got any chemistry medicine. I had yeah. only uh, X rays. Yeah. on my pelvis and uh, and spine uh, and uh, i have still bone clean uh, bone marrow clean and blood clean yeah? but uh, it's with a plasma cytoma yeah after it oh. yeah. and and you 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 get uh, uh, the chemotherapy or no, only no, the x only x rays <laughs> only and, radiotherapy and when, when, were, when were the the disease when were the plasma cytoma where in the spine. In the spine. Yeah, in so the spine and pelvis. Pelvis. Six places. Six places. Yeah, six points. But no chemotherapy. No chemotherapy. We, we, I think it's very different uh, doctor to doctor how, to, how you treat this one. So uh, my professor used only the x-ray if uh, have a soldier. 
uh, therapy. You know, the, it's very, very good uh, uh, imaging uh, things, the PET CT, which can uh, show the, the, the plasma cytoma. It's a local disease, only the pelvis or only the other side. And uh, uh, in our doctor's mind, that uh, if uh, uh, the multiplex uh, plasma, plasma cytoma appear in a body, but uh, haven't got uh, evaluated uh, uh, or increased uh, 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 immunoglobulin. Uh, we use uh, uh, chemotherapy, uh, the combination chemotherapy in this situation. We use only X-ray and dexamethasone if have only one solitary things, not the general. It's the same. six places where a plasma cytoma is uh, cured, so we will determine that like a pre-stage of multiple myeloma, so we will go for hemo and yes. for auto. So it is absolutely transplant. the progressive disease. So uh, in my mind that uh, if the patient have only one single uh, uh, disease in a spine, for example, I think it's enough. Uh, uh, the X-ray, but the the many many uh, 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 area of the body uh, appear the plasma cytoma. We we have to use the chemotherapy because in the future, two years, three years, it will be Six progress. Years Six years ago, Six years ago. Oh, it's good. And the, the, it's yeah, nothing. this is great thing because it's we it, yeah. must consider a tailor-made approach. No, every patient is every patient is a new, unique one. Yes. So in your case, that shows that chemo was unnecessary at this stage, but in other, the progression is very rapid. So it's very difficult because you know you can you are deciding when you're doing cohort studies, so you are taking a lot of patients, so you are deciding what is the best case scenario for all. But in your case, that's not. The situation so so the plasma cytoma is very strange disease I think mm -hmm. so so it's it's yes the protocol uh, said that enough the x-ray and enough the dexamethasone for example first time but uh, in my practice it, it's very very variable so I, I have a patient who suffer from the myeloma after the bone marrow transplantation the allogenic transplantation autologous after allogenic because he was very very young uh, the relapse uh, the myeloma relapse was only the plasma cytoma without the, the systemic uh, disorder. So in a, in, a, in a bone marrow and in a, in a, uh, in a chemistry, we, can't, we, we couldn't find uh, uh, the typical myeloma disease, only the plasma cytoma. So it's very, very strange, I think, the, 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 the solitary plasma cytoma.